just hearing there from Garfield about the fact that, look, we really are expecting to see this big hike coming through from the Fed. But what happens after that? Do they then start to pair the expectations, perhaps slower uh, hikes, or do we still continue to see this aggressive path? So the market is expecting the Fed to move 75 basis points this week, but the focus really is shifting from clients, from the markets, to what happens thereafter. If we look at markets now, they're actually looking at the Fed to reach peak rates in early Q1 next year, and for the Fed to start cutting rates thereafter. Two to three cuts are already priced for 2023. So the Fed here and now is tightening to try and rein in inflationary pressures, but they're really very much tightening into fears of a global recession, and markets are thinking they'll have to pivot quickly. Are those fears warranted, or do you think we could even be in the midst of or the start of a recession now? So we're going to get U.S. Uh, second quarter GDP numbers later this week, which could technically meet the definition of a recession already. Now, our base view is that the U.S. enters a full-blown re full recession next year, but absolutely, it could come earlier than that. In Europe as well, we could be in a recession by, by the end of the year. So our models are putting the likelihood of a global recession pretty high right now. And what could that mean, Malika, for, for Asian central banks? Are they just going to have to catch up with what the Fed, even the ECB, is going to be doing with supersized jumble rate hikes? So I think it does put Asian central banks in, in a bit of a tight spot for two main reasons. One, Asian central banks haven't lifted a great deal yet. On average, an Asian central bank in this cycle has raised rates by about 60 basis points. That compares to 120 in the developed world, around 350 in Eastern Europe, and about 600 in Latin America. And there's a narrowing window now for Asian central banks to catch up. And two, currency pressures in Asia might make it difficult for central banks to ease back with the Fed. So while the market's pricing Fed cuts next year, it's not pricing the same for Asia. T tell us about the urgency to hike metric. That, that you guys have developed, what, what is it telling you now? And why, and why do it? And what, where are we seeing actually the most, I guess, stress and urgency for people to actually, uh, for central banks here to actually hike? So we've developed a, a popular urgency to tighten metric for different Asian central banks, looking at the four main pillars of policy, rising price pressures, domestic activity, currency weakness, and global growth. And we've come up with a way of gauging how sensitive different countries are to these four metrics. What we found is you can kind of split Asia into three main groups. So countries where the urgency to tighten is quite high, like Korea, Philippines, Singapore. The good news is these central banks have front-loaded a lot of tightening, so they could be in a position to take their foot off the pedal. The second group is countries like Thailand, where there's rising urgency, but they haven't done a lot yet, and they might need to tighten quickly. And the last group is countries like China, India, Indonesia, where that pressure is low and they might stay more dovish. You mentioned Asian currencies there, and a lot of this is being reflected by peak dollar. Do you think Asian currencies have weakened enough? So Asian currencies have we certainly weakened a lot on a lot of our valuation metrics. They're trading at the cheapest levels in recent history. We also believe that Asian currencies have priced in a good amount of slowdown. If you look at Asian currency performance, it tends to lead exports growth, and it's already pricing in exports declining to the levels we saw in the 2015 and 2019 slowdowns. So on those metrics, Asian currencies have weakened a lot. But there is also a safe haven bid for the dollar that tends to rise in recession times, and that could hold Asian currencies back. Uh, I was interested to hear some of the results from this metric. Uh, why is India low urgency, Monica? Obviously, we, we've seen where the currency is at record lows. Uh, commodity prices, of course, we, we've sort of faded a little bit of that rally, but certainly we're still elevated above 100 bucks for oil right now. Why, why do they, are they not in the rush to hike? That was certainly one of the most surprising results from that study for us, that India didn't strike as having as high urgency as other countries. And we are starting to hear slightly more dovish rhetoric as well. I think there's a couple of reasons. One, when we look at the distance of inflation versus their target band, Indian inflation at seven is not that much above the six a ceiling that RBI has in place. In other central banks like Thailand, that gap is a lot wider. Uh, the domestic recovery is also not showing very hot signs yet in India. And from a currency pressure perspective, RBI has a lot of reserves that they can also use to defend the rupee and may not need to resort to monetary policy in the same way. We know a lot of the recovery is being driven by tourism. We've been looking at surging hotel rents here in Singapore, Thailand, looking quite good on that front too. But the other big key point is these rising price pressures and food inflation. How much of that is a concern? So when we, when we look at Thailand and specifically looking at the currency, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a currency that 
ideally, given how much it's weakened, could start to strengthen back. Tourism, we expect uh, to come in at a million tourists per month for the rest of the year. That could bring about $2 billion to $3 billion of extra inflows into Thailand, which could be quite constructive for the currency. But ultimately, I think the Bank of Thailand does need to start to raise rates. Inflation is, is close to 8%. Policy rates in Thailand are still a half a percent. They need to start to close that gap, and then I think the currency could respond.